Hey, this is Ashley, and you guys are watching Ashley Epidemic. And today, I'm going to be doing my first installment of As I See It, a time where we explore a topic from my point of view. That's the key, my point of view. While I'm sure that there will be plenty of times when I'm spot on, I'm also sure that there's gonna be plenty of times when I don't have the whole story, where I'm not right at all. But that's just because this is this topic as I see it in this moment. What is K-pop? To the average American, it's something along the lines of, isn't it those Asians that like sing and dance and like crazy and stuff? They, they, they make music, right? And if you're lucky, in rare cases, you'll hear somebody who's just like, well, I've heard of BTS or Big Bang or even Girls Generation. But other than that, you're really not getting much else from most Americans. Ask a K-pop fan what K-pop is, and you're gonna get a completely different reaction. And the heck, the actual reaction that you end up getting is gonna be completely different depending on who you're actually talking to. Now, don't get me wrong, there are specific groups, and many of them, and specific songs that just fall into this genre of K-pop. But then there are plenty of other artists and groups that kind of fall into this weird other zone. And even more groups that walk this line between, are they really K-pop? Now, I've said all of this, and you still haven't seen exactly where I come down on this topic, but we're gonna get into that right now. See, when it comes to K-pop, it all goes back to the simple word pop. When you talk of pop music, there's actually two things that are actually going on. There is pop that is the style of music that is categorized by the tempo and the beat and the general tone of the song. That is one way that you can categorize pop. In this case, it's a lot more simple to determine what is a pop song because it has no bearing on anything else. It is simply the style of music that is being produced. Then there is the other pop, the pop that is actually more commonly referred to in general and often gets mixed together with the genre of pop because it uses the same name. And that is what is popular. See, that is the other use that commonly gets used for pop music and that's where things get wrenched in together because pop music that is popular is still pop music even if it isn't actually the genre of pop because you can have hip-hop and you can have r&b and you can have rock and you can all have that be considered pop but it isn't actually the genre pop but it has become pop because it has become popular which is a little bit different than the genre of pop, which is the actual sound of the music and the style of the music, which is still also pop. See, it gets confusing. So now bringing this back to K-pop, when you think of K-pop, it's actually fusing the actual sounds of actual pop music, which many K-pop songs do actually have. And it is also bringing in the term of k pop in the sense that it is popular Korean music, even though not all of it is actually pop music. So you have this same mixture with Korean music as you do over here in the States, which kind of blurs things together. However, let's take this one step further and think about what else K-pop brings to the table. And that is often the way that it presents their artists. So there are K-pop artists people that fall into say the hip hop category or even the K-rock category based off of the sound of their actual music, the genre that they play. However, due to the way that they are presented to the world, they also fall squarely in this lovely category called K-pop. And those things that kind of set them into this K-pop area that is more than just the genre of music that they are playing are things like 
going on variety shows and the way that they perform and going on music shows and not even always just playing music shows, but going to music show performances like Music Bank in Singapore, things like that. And it gives you a very different feel than what you get from American artists who focus on actually just putting out music and then occasionally doing interviews here and there. With K-pop, you get a much bigger umbrella that gets packaged in with what you're seeing. So that is one of the big differences that I've noticed in K-pop, and that is how I see K-pop. K-pop is a package. K-pop is more, sometimes more than just the genre of music being played, and K-pop is something that is very special to my heart. Now, this video is probably a little bit longer than you may have expected, and probably a little bit longer than I had hoped, but I wanted to give you guys a nice good video for the very first installment. If there are topics related to K-pop or entertainment in general, please let me know below because this will be an ongoing series. And if there's something that you'd like to see how I see it, not necessarily the full truth and every aspect of it, but how I see it, then go ahead and let me know down below because you never know. Sometimes you may learn something and I may learn something. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll see y'all. Bye.